You ever have one of those days when you start out to do something just simple and things went bad? Then they went from bad to worse? Well, went out this morning to get my utility trailer. Uh, there's another video on it. I put another deck on it last year. And it was empty. I just, Jack was down. I needed to raise it up a little bit so I could throw it on the ball in the back of the tractor and pull it up here to actually load the tractor, take it up to the renovation house, project going on up there where I need it. Turn the handle once, ended up with it in my hand. Handle broke right off. I thought, well, shoot, I'll just go get another jack. So I picked up the trailer and dropped it on the ball. It's not heavy when it's empty. And towed it up here by the shop. Went down, bought another jack. Uh, oh, maybe you'd like to see this in English. There, Reese Tow Power, model 74413, capacity 1,000 pounds. Well, it'll never see that much in that little utility trailer, but when the tractor is on it, or if I've got it loaded with rocks or mulch or topsoil or whatever, you can't just pick the front up. At least, I'm getting too old to be doing that kind of crap. So now, I've got this. Easy, bolt on. So I thought, I'll just unbolt the other one, bolt this one right on. There's a problem. Whoever put the one on before didn't use the bolts and the clamps. They welded it to make it worse. They did what I call gorilla welds, which means I got cut it off. Coming up. Hi, I'm Roger. Welcome to the shop. And as you heard there in the intro, uh, something that would have, should have been actually very simple have been what my wife likes to call a half-hour job. A lot of things you guys have you heard were just it's just a half hour job might take you all day but it's a half hour job this literally should have been just a half hour job and now it's going to turn into uh, a good part of a day job because I need to grind that off so when I was up there to get this of course they always have things on sale and I got to look at that and I am a DeWalt junkie if you watch any of my previous videos so I bought another grinder uh, this time a 20 volt to uh, kind of upgrade from my old 18 volt. And I do have quarter grinders. So, got a lot of them. That's the subject of another video too. But, sport utility jack. Boy, just dike downtown with this. First, I got to get the other one off. That's going to be a challenge. The old jack was held on with a snap ring, so I took the snap ring off and done a little grinding on it. Now I've got to do some more. Fortunately, they did not weld it on the bottom, so I don't have to stand on my head. And no, that is not a Harbor Freight jack stand. When they welded this on they left a gap down here and then there's a weld bead that goes way back in so I think I'm gonna have to get me a cutoff wheel so I can get back in and get that with a cutoff wheel otherwise I'm gonna have to grind all kinds of stuff worst comes to worst I'll get the plasma cutter Now to clean it up. A little paint on that. We'll be ready for the new one. Might as well make the whole thing look pretty up here, I guess. One thing when you're out in the sun and it's uh, like 90 degrees, paint dries really fast. Yeah, we'll give that a little bit of time to harden up. Okay, so while I'm waiting for the paint to dry, and as you saw, getting that off of there was kind of a pain, but it wasn't really too bad because the welds are really poor. Uh, I did have to get a cutoff wheel to get 
in behind where they tried to fill or do whatever there. So I, anyway, the thing's off of there. Let's open this up, see what we got in this box. Hopefully it comes with the bolts. First I can get it out of the box. There we go. Okay, we got brackets, we got bolts. This should be fairly straightforward. This guy here. Oh, a little bit of assembly required, it looks like. Comes with installation instructions. It's even sealed in plastic. In multiple languages for multiple models. So you got to pick your model out of this, but I think I can figure out how to put four bolts in. The only thing you need to do with the handle here is uh, put the bolt on it, tighten it up. I'll probably wait till after I get it mounted to actually do that so it's not, in, well maybe I'll do it ahead of time. That way I can space this correctly so that it won't uh, hit the front of the uh, hitch or run into something else. And I'll bet that's metric. It is 10 millimeter for those of you keeping track. Got to get the right end of the wrench on there, though. You also have to have the ratchet. Yeah, let me drop that. Let's do it the other way. Okay, we'll do it this way. This is a nylock nut, and one thing you don't want to do is over-tighten that. Because if you squish that too much, you're not going to be able to do this. So that looks good right there. Um, while I'm at it, I'll get you the sizes of these bolts, because I'm sure they're metric. Okay, these are 14 millimeter if you're keeping track or if you need to know. So, uh, once the paint dries out there, I'll uh, go out and I'll bolt this up. Okay, what I've done here is uh, I put the top brackets on so I can hang it on the tongue here. I am going to mount this back just a little bit further than where the old one was, and I know the farther that way is, is better, but uh, when I pull this with my uh, John Deere 445 tractor, I have to be careful when I turn or the three-point hitch uh, bars hit the handle. And that may have been what broke the handle off of that, I don't know. But so I'm just going to kind of set this on there, get an idea. I think we're going to set it right about there. This would be a spot where it would be nice if you had an extra hand. But, since I work alone, now it's just a matter of tightening up the bolts. Okay, kind of got them started there, and I'll get this up here where I want it. There are indentations on here to uh, match your channel, so it's a good idea to do the top ones first. Like I just figured out the hard way. And just like that. Of course, you pull this pin to swivel this. Well... This is something I didn't plan on. This hits the frame. And obviously you can't have it going the other way. So it hit the hitch. I am going to have to put a spacer behind that on this side to get this out far enough because of this small tongue. To get that past that. The other option would be to cut that, but I don't want to do that either. So I guess I'll see if I can, what I can find to put a spacer behind that. I don't need a whole lot. Well, as you can see here, I got a little bit of a problem. I don't have enough clearance here. I'm going to have to put a spacer behind this uh, to space this out enough so that this will swing all the way up. I don't need a lot. Maybe a couple of uh, square washers behind that. I have to go see what I've got. Okay, all it took was a couple pieces of uh, quarter inch bar stock that I had, scraps I had. And I stuck it behind on this side and it just misses the tongue now. So that'll work out perfect. Down off the jack stand, and there we go. That'll work out just fine. Might do a little work on that wiring while I got it sitting here. I gotta do some retaping on that. Looks a little rough. Okay, one last thing I did, but it wasn't on camera, was the excess length of the bolts. I cut that off because I could see me banging my leg on them when I'm walking around that side of the trailer. So, okay, I did some things that uh, are not exactly conventional. 
technically when you put a tongue jack on it should be as close to the coupler as you could possibly get it but because of the way that I use this and the way the trailer is designed first place if I tried to move it all the way forward there's a v-shaped piece of steel on the bottom that would not let me put the bolts through the second thing is the handle would hit my uh, coupler on my or I should say the hitch in the back of my tractor where I use it the most I, I do take it on the road and this is not again to lift huge amounts of weight it's just more of a matter of convenience when I do have the tractor on there I don't know what that John Deere tractor weighs and it does have wheel weights so there is quite a bit of weight there but it's not like it stays that way for a long period of time so anyway that's going to work a whole lot better than this one here did with the handle that doesn't go in it anymore and I see all kinds of little pieces inside there and I think what happened was this handle had hit the uh, back the three-point hitch in the back of the tractor I think it, that may be what broke it so anyway that's uh, a way to put a tongue jack on okay so what do I think of the Reese tow power sport utility jack model 74413 honest opinion here it does what it needs to do however if I were to give it a rating on a, one of these five-star things like Amazon and everybody does I give it a two and a half the reason being as you saw when I was doing the install I actually had to space out one side to allow the foot of that of this jack that's this part get a hold of this this part down here to be able to clear the frame of the trailer and it wouldn't have mattered how big the trailer was or what size that square tube was because of the way this is designed this is actually a quarter inch too big uh, whether or not other people have run into this problem and I'm sure they have and they're trying to figure out what to do or maybe they trimmed off one side of the foot it's not like you can put it on wrong I mean it goes against the frame like it's supposed to as I mounted it as you saw but when you go to tilt it it hits the frame and you're not able to tilt it all the way up unless you space that side out that's somewhat of a design flaw and somebody in the engineering department really screwed up but that's my review of this and as I said it works fine it does what it needs to do um, a little wardrobe change here as you can see because I have had this out and used it today so that's what I think of it so if you get anything out of this whole uh, video thing appreciate getting a thumbs up it always helps the channel and of course we're always looking for subscribers otherwise I'm Roger in the shop thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one